I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. You started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on! Davis, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. That was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Let's see what's wrong with you. circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this. Servo control. the voltage finished See if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... 
The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already 10 after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. Alright, I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. How many lab fires have we seen now, Otto? Three? Four? That's how you know we're progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. Don't think Dr. Octavius's optimism has ever been shaken. Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. Graduation. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. You know, just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Limbic Bridge. We're looking for results, not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have. Trust me. Our work grows more promising every day. That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. <laughs>